cops suspended after arresting blind men. Yeah, remember this is this was a guy who was coming home from jury duty. Well, check this story out. Cops suspended after they decided to arrest a blind man for absolutely nothing. We brought you this story just a few days ago. Now there's discipline. Let me remind you of what happened. Here it is. Here we go. Surface. Exactly. Bearing arms is a constitutional right. Yeah. Which means it cannot be the prerequisite. And not only that, there are some states where you can legally conceal or even open carry as well. And I believe Florida is one of those states where you can at least conceal carry. Would sit to criminal suspicion. That would be like you voting, exercising a constitutionally protected right, could grant cops the ability. To say that is suspicious behavior. No, it's constitutional behavior. Now, yeah, or it's like you it's like you're walking down the street, you're texting your phone on your phone, or you're at a bus stop, you're playing your phone, doing nothing like that, and you're like, Well, you're doing something suspicious. Well, how am I how's texting on my phone to my buddy or waiting for the bus or walking down the street to go to the store? How's that suspicious? No. It's called it's called doing a, a lawful activity and constitutional activity. Number two. The interesting dynamic about what you just saw happens every day in law enforcement. The supervisor sets the tone for management. The reason why she was comfortable acting that way is because his leadership protects it. Hand in glove situation. Yep. Then they arrest a guy. Here it is. Here we go. Remember this? You know what the charge is? It's a stupid bogus charge they charge him with. He gets arrested for resisting arrest, but he was not under arrest. Exactly. You know, you know what they say? They're telling him, that, yeah, he resisted, resisting, he resisted arrest for simply asking for her name and badge number. How does that qualify and count as resisting arrest? Or a cop stops you over and pulls you over and stops you on the street. And you say, what's the problem, officer? Oh, can I help you, sir? Or, why are you detaining me? Why are you stopping me? Well, can I have your name and badge number? How does that qualify as resisting arrest? When you simply ask the question. Resisting arrest consists when you're pushing away, shrugging, or pulling away, or you fighting with the cops. That man was just simply asking for her name and badge number. That's not resisting arrest. All right. Let's put up the picture full mass of the tyrants. Here we go. Here's both of them. As one officer described herself. The involved officers were Deputy yeah. Jamie. She was Brown acting in the tyrant. And her supervisor, Sergeant Randy Harrison. They will now face suspension without pay after arresting a 61-year-old. She got the suspended. He got demoted. Who was simply carrying a walking a cane. Stick. Yeah, a walking stick. The deputy involved will be suspended without pay for two days. Her supervisor will be demoted immediately, suspended without pay for seven days, and will not be eligible for any favorable action, meaning promotion, etc. Both 
uh, for two years. Both the deputy and the supervisor will have to undergo uh, civil rights training. Now, here's what I'm going to do, okay? Let me take it directly to what the sheriff said and how he addressed it. That, that day for Mr. Hodges to complete a sworn statement at a later date uh, upon his availability. The administrative investigation concluded the afternoon of 11-7 and al uh, allegations of policy violations against these two deputies were sustained. As a result of these findings, Sergeant Harrison will be demoted immediately, suspended without pay for seven days, and will not be eligible for any favorable action for two years. Deputy Goody will be suspended without pay for two days. Both deputies will be required to undergo remedial training pertaining to civil rights. Hmm. That's your problem. Right there. They clearly should not be cops. We covered something that was done. You know, and here's the thing before we before we continue as well. I mean, yeah, those tough uh, should be cops. Then you got we have we have the problem in society as well. People say, well, we should reform these cops, or need to, or 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 it's like you're gonna have people with that back to blue, and they, they're, they're saying, that, well, police officers are fighting. Uh, people's rise and they're under stress like that no when you do a cops like that that guy was doing nothing wrong you don't reform you don't train these kind of backups you replace these cops with good officers that want to uh, the fight the corruption out there and they're willing to serve and protect the community not instigate harass by the former mayor of Ithaca New York we had him on the show and he talked about how they created a program that literally eliminated, virtually eliminated, these types of aggressions against their community. What did they do? Very simple. They mandated psychological exams and mm -hmm. a lie detector test yep. for those who qualify to be cops. 75% did not pass. The 25% who did, 100% of them yep. never gave the city an issue exactly. with the community nor a lawsuit. Okay? Um, some semblance of justice, however, not harsh enough. They should not be suspended. They should be fired. They need to be something else, not cops. Exactly. All right, Dan Thoughts. The only other thing I think I disagree with in this entire story is that Blind Man was indeed armed with his rights. He knew it exactly mm -hmm. what was going on. He knew exactly what would happen or what the situation would look like if there were a probable cause for him to be arrested, if there were a justification for him to be arrested. But he even demonstrated, okay, I see that your sus concern or suspicion is that I have a weapon. As you can see, this is a walking stick. Yeah. As I can demonstrate for you, I am blind. There's no reason for you to take my identification. There's no need reason for you to waste uh, my time or your time slash my yeah hashtag ha hashtag wasted resources we've talked about this in, in other videos as well hashtag wasted resources resources as a taxpayer so yeah and i was saying i did a couple last couple of videos i've done hashtag name and badge number Oh, go on, get to step in. The fact that the supervisor and the deputy continued on anyways because they're on their clear power trip. Yeah, it shows that there need to be better ways of weeding people who just want to uh, play out their bully fantasies mm -hmm. on the streets, again, with taxpayer money. I think that... And I've covered this up as well in mean, uh, past video as well. I mean, you get cops out there who probably get bullied, harassed when they were going through school. So there's, and they're in general said, well, I'm going to become an officer so that way I can bully back because I'm pissed off of the world and I'm going to fight back by, I'm just going to pick a random person just to fuck with him. I'm going to bully him. Oh, he's coming. He, he knows his right. Well, fuck that shit. I'm a police officer. He should know his right. He's coming out and he said, he knows his right. Well, I, I'm going to arrest him because he knows his right. No, that's why smart people, they know the right. And then I covered this as well, too. Majority of the people who get selected for jury duty. They're the type of mundane people that work nine to five jobs, that probably have a family, that know very little about the law, you know, and they, they don't, and they believe anything and everything a police officer is with. That's why you very rarely get a ju couple a jury members or even a couple of jury members that know the law and their rights and about corruption and the police departments as well. Our parties to me um, always emphasize as well. I want to highlight one last element of this story because it's important to the record here we okay? go according to the arrest report right the official report officer Godey, deputy Godey, stopped james hodges of lake city 
a town west of Jacksonville in the early morning of October 31st. Remember, he was coming back from jury duty. After she saw him enter a crosswalk as a traffic control device indicated not to do so. That's contrary to her submission to the man who was arrested. Yeah. You know, and some people are going to say that's a gray line. You're going to say, well, if he's told not to cross, if you're crossing a crosswalk, even if you're in a crosswalk, and it tells you, you know, you have the hand size, don't cross, you have to wait till like that. People say, well, that's jaywalking. Well, here's the thing, I've, I've, been, I've done this quite a few times. If nobody's coming around, you can yield. It's called yielding like that. And sometimes you don't have, you don't you want to wait for the crosswalk because sometimes it could take minutes as well. So if you don't see them coming like that, you can effectively yield. I mean, you could swing across the street, it's, it's yielding. As long as you're in the crosswalk area, you don't have to wait for the crosswalk to go. You, you're yielding, Lawrence. So nobody's coming. And most of the time, when you cross the street and people are coming, they have to yield for pedestrians. Pedestrians have the right, doesn't matter how or where. Where's the violation of oath of office of filing a false police report? Where's that charge? Yeah. Where is that allegation? It's not there. We found a contrary statement on the record. Uh, deputies. Sheriffs, yeah, police officers like that. You've got chief and lieutenants out there. So, yeah, so here's your update on that. I knew there was going to be one. Sure enough, we got one a couple days later. Anyways, I'm out of here. Mike, y'all. Peace out. Much love, prayers, and blessings.